Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discussing about uh, data sufficiency. Let's continue the last session. See here, uh, options are same options. Uh, first option is uh, statement 1 alone, second option is statement 2 alone and third one is either 1 or 2 and fourth one is both the statements are not sufficient and fifth one is uh, both the statements together are sufficient to uh, get the answer. See, here the first question is, how many sons does uh, D have? How many sons does D have? That is the question. We need to find the number of uh, uh, number of sons for D. Now, see the first statement alone. Yes, father. Yes, father. That is this person. Yes, father has three children. Three children in the sense already A is yes, father is this person. For this person, three children. It means A is one children and one more children and one more children. From this uh, diagram, we cannot say exactly uh, how many sons does D have and we don't know where, who is D also, right? So, you will not get the answer by using statement 1 alone. Now, let's see the second statement alone. B is alone. B is yes, brother. B is yes brother, B is yes brother and uh, son of uh, D, B is son of uh, D, B is son of D. So, this is another statement, this is another statement. Now, from this, uh, we cannot say exactly how many sons does uh, D have. Here, we don't know the gender of A. Uh, this person, A is either uh, male gender or else female gender, we don't know. But given that B is A's brother, but we don't know A is sister or brother. And uh, B is a son of D. So, obviously, in from second one, you can know that D has exactly two children, but number of sons either one or else two. If A is daughter, automatically one son is there. If A is son, then two sons will be there. So, you cannot say exactly how many sons does D have by using statement 2 alone. Now, we will see if you combine both the statements. If you combine both the statements. If you combine both the statements, you will get that D is a father and A's brother is B. Yes, brother is B and we don't know this person and we don't know the gender of this person also. So, we cannot say exactly how many sons does D have. Even though you are combining both the statements, you will not get the answer. Therefore, your required answer is option D is the right answer. You are not getting the answer even though you are combining both the statements together. Both are not sufficient. Option D is the right answer. Next one. See here. How many children does M have? How many children? In the previous problem, number of sons for D. But in this problem, how many children does M have? How many children? Let's see the first statement alone. H is the only daughter of X. H is the only daughter. H is the only daughter of X. Who is wife of? This X is wife of M. This X is wife of M. It means automatically M is husband. M is husband. In this case, definitely we can say that how many children does M have? In this case, M have one children. So, you can get the answer by using statement 1 alone. Now, take only statement 2. K and J are brothers of M. K and J, brothers. K and J, brothers of M. K and J, brothers of M. You don't know the gender of M, but K and J are brothers of M. All are siblings. Here the question is, how many children does M have? There is no information regarding M children. You will not get the answer by using statement 2 alone. Therefore, 
for this question, you are getting the answer by using statement 1 alone. Therefore, the required answer is uh, data in statement 1 alone is sufficient to get the answer. Option A is the right answer. Next one. See here, A is D's brother. This information is common for both the statements. A is D's brother. A is D's brother and you don't know about the gender of D. And uh, F is the mother of D. F is the mother. F is the mother of D. If F is the mother of D, automatically F is mother of A also. Why? Because A and D are siblings. How is D related to A? If you want the relation of D with A, here by using this statement, uh, the in the given question, by using the given question, we can say that D is uh, either brother or else sister. Definitely your answer is either brother or sister. Suppose the question is how is A related to D? How is A related to D in the sense your answer is brother? But how is D related to A? How is D related to A? You don't know the gender of D. That is the reason why answer is either brother or sister definitely. Once uh, we will check it out based on the given statement sir. What is the first statement? F has only one son. F has only one son and one daughter. See, he is saying that uh, this person F is having only one son. That son is uh, A. Automatically another one is daughter. That means D is daughter. So, how is D related to A? D related to A that is sister. You are getting the answer by using statement uh, one alone. By using statement one alone, you can say that D is the sister of uh, A. D is the sister of A. Now, let's take a second uh, one. A is the only son of uh, P who has two children. A is the, here in this case, uh, according to the given information, this is mother, F is mother. You don't know the gender of D and uh, A is uh, male gender. See, from this one, A is the only son of P. Here, P is not there. If P is not there, uh, so many students are confused at this point that uh, they will not, they will think that they will not get the answer by using uh, this one. Here, a is the only son of P. Only son of P in the sense, automatically F and P both are uh, wife and husband. F and P both are wife and husband. Why? Because uh, A is the son of F. If A is the son of F, automatically he is saying that uh, A is the only son of P. It means uh, these two members are wife and husband. P is the father and F is the mother. And uh, for P, A is the only son. It means automatically D is daughter. D is daughter. So, by using second statement also, you can say that D is the sister. D is the sister of A. You are getting the answer by using statement 1 alone as well as a statement 2 alone. Therefore, our required answer is uh, either statement 1 alone or else uh, statement 2 alone are sufficient to get the answer. In this way, you can solve these kind of problems. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.